in the world of space exploration, a new technology promises to revolutionize our journeys to space. How does it work and why is it so innovative? Alright, what's up people? Welcome to the Atlas Project. Today, we're gonna talk about the Saber engine, a project with the potential to drive us in the next step of space exploration, a hybrid between a jet and a rocket, with a pretty cool science and design behind. If you're interested, let's dive into it. Before we talk about the engine itself, we need to know first its history and founders. Reaction Engines Limited, or REAL, was founded in 1989 by Alan Pond, Richard Verville, and John Scott Scott. These engineers were initially involved in the HOTOL or Horizontal Takeoff and Landing project during the 1980s. HOTOL aimed to develop a single stage to orbit or SSTO spacecraft that could take off and land horizontally, reducing space launch costs. However, HOTOL faced significant technical and financial challenges leading to its cancellation. Despite these setbacks, Pond, Verville, and Scott Scott remained convinced of SSTO technology's potential. They identified key technical issues such as cooling incoming air at high speeds, which HOTOL couldn't overcome. To address these challenges, they founded REAL with the goal of developing the SABER, or Synergetic Air Breathing Rocket Engine a hybrid engine capable of operating both as a jet engine in the atmosphere and as a rocket in space. A core innovation of SABER is its heat exchanger, designed to rapidly cool incoming air from over 1000 Celsius to minus 150 Celsius in milliseconds, preventing engine overheating and allowing efficient operation at high speeds. In the early 2000s, REAL conducted preliminary tests and simulations to validate this SABER concept. A significant milestone was achieved in 2012 when they successfully demonstrated the heat exchanger technology, providing its capacity to handle extreme temperatures. This breakthrough attracts significant attention from the aerospace community and potential investors. By 2015, the European Space Agency, or ESA, and other international investors began providing financial support, recognizing Sabre's potential. This increased funding allowed for more extensive testing and development. In 2019, REAL announced successful tests on the heat exchanger under conditions simulating hypersonic fly, a crucial step toward providing the engine's feasibility for real-world applications. Initiated in the 1980s by British Aerospace and Rolls-Royce, Key figures like Adam Bolt were heavily involved in its development. However, as I said earlier, the project faced significant challenges, including managing high thermal loads during re-entry and cooling the incoming air at high speeds for the engine to operate efficiently. Additionally, the program struggled with high development costs and insufficient funding. These technical and financial challenges ultimately led to the cancellation of HOTOL in the late 1980s. But, despite its cancellation, the lessons learned and the innovative vision behind HODL paved the way for the founding of Reaction Engines Limited and the development of the Saber engine. Following the cancellation of the HODL project in the late 1980s due to insurmountable technical challenges and financial constraints, the engineers involved, particularly Alan Bond, Richard Belleville, and John Scott Scott, were determined to find solutions to the problems HODL faced. The HODL project struggled with managing high thermal loads during re-entry and efficiently cooling incoming air at high speed, alongside with high development costs and insufficient funding. To address these issues, the team at REAL developed the SABER, or Synergetic Air Breathing Rocket Engine concept. A critical innovation was the creation of a heat exchanger capable of cooling incoming air at over 1000 Celsius to minus 100 Celsius in milliseconds, solving so the air cooling problem. SABER was designed as a hybrid engine that could operate both as a jet engine in the atmosphere and as a rocket in space, 
merging the benefits of both engines types. This advanced heat exchanger also addressed thermal management by rapidly cooling the air before it entered the engine. The dual mode operation of the Saber allowed for efficient performance within the atmosphere and in the space. The advantages of Saber include reduced launch costs due to its reusable nature, increased efficiency from the hybrid design and potential for hypersonic travel and reusable space launch vehicles, which could revolutionize the space industry. The Sabre engine incorporates several advanced technologies, for example, the heat exchanger which uses helium to prevent the engine from overheating at high speeds. The heat exchanger, or more specifically the precooler, employs a network of fine tubes filled with helium to absorb heat from incoming air, cooling it efficiently and allowing the engine to operate at speeds up of Mach 5 in atmosphere. Mark 5, by the way, means 6,125 km per hour, so yes, that's a lot of velocity. In air reading mode, the engine functions just like a jet engine. It takes air from the atmosphere, compresses it, cools it using the precooler, and mixes it with hydrogen fuel. Once the vehicle reaches the upper atmosphere, where the air is too thin for effective air breathing operation, the engine switches to rocket mode. It closes off the air intake and uses onboard liquid oxygen and hydrogen to produce thrust, similar to a conventional rocket engine. This mode is used to space travels and enables the vehicle to reach orbit. It uses onboard liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen to produce thrust, enable the vehicle to reach orbit. For re-entry and landing, the vehicle can switch back to air breathing mode once it re-enters the atmosphere along a controlled descent and landing using atmospheric air. The Sabre engine offers several significant advantages. Its dual mode operation allows the engine to be highly efficient in both atmospheric flight and space travel. The ability to switch between air breathing and rocket engine mode reduces the need of carrying large amounts of oxidizer, as I said earlier, lowering the overall weight and cost. The engine's design supports multiple uses, significantly lowering the cost of space missions compared to single-use rockets. Additionally, Sabre's versatility makes it suitable for a wide range of applications, including hypersonic aircraft that could drastically reduce travel times and reusable space launch vehicles, making space access more frequent and affordable. Its ability to operate efficiently both within the atmosphere and in space, coupled with its reusability and versatility, makes it a promising solution for reducing the cost and increasing the frequency of space missions. So, maybe if you reach this part of the video you are wondering why Sabre Engine hasn't been used so far. And, well, the Sabre engine has not yet been used operationally due to several significant challenges. Firstly, the technical complexity of Sabre's advanced technologies, particularly the rapid heat exchanger, requires extensive research and development to ensure reliability and safety. This involves comprehensive testing under various conditions, which takes considerable time and resources. Additionally, the development of the Sabre engine is extremely expensive, while Reaction Engines Limited has secured investments for sources such as UK government and the European Space Agency. Sustained and substantial funding is necessary to cover the long development period and high costs. The technological maturity of Sabre is another factor. Initial prototypes need multiple iterations to address unforeseen issues and optimize performance. Transitioning from prototypes to scalable production models for actual missions involves further development and testing to ensure consistency and reliability. Despite these challenges, significant progress has been made. Reaction Engines Limited has successfully demonstrated key components like the Procure in various tests. Continued development, testing, and funding efforts are bringing Sabre closer to maturity. Once these hurdles are overcome, Sabre has the potential to revolutionize space travel and space exploration, offering versatile, reusable, and efficient propulsion solutions.
As we saw through this video, the Sabre is an incredible piece of technology, and once its development finished, it will demonstrate the potential that SSTO's vehicles can have. So yes, this is the very end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have something to say, to share your thoughts in the comment box down below. This has been Alejandro from the Atlas Project. Bye bye.